Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at Sony's recently announced showcase for September of 2021. Was there any good games here that I will be excited for or just more the same we have seen during this lackluster pandemic driven gaming year and beyond? Knowing that Sony is the king of single player gaming and the main reason I bought a PS5, I was hoping for some huge news concerning anything from the house of Sony. I was quite surprised at what really excited me and what was just a passing thought. Just to take two games off the table right away as they were just teasers of games to come and had no real gameplay implications or impact except what they were and in this case I'm extremely biased. As a huge fan of the original Star Wars Knights of the Roman Republic, we will now be getting a remake of the game. I was so excited to hear remake rather than remaster as they will not take the old code and make it better but make this a journey from the ground up. Nothing else to say here except probably the most exciting news for me that now it's a PS5 exclusive and maybe on the PC. But now I can play it, if not part 3, then a remake will suffice, at least for now. The other major tease was my favorite Marvel superhero, Wolverine, will be coming to the PS5 exclusively from the same developers of Spider-Man Insomniac Games. Small trailer really revealed nothing here, but super excited on what they can do with the man with claws. I am very biased on those two properties. We now take a look at what was just okay. Although I should be wowing on the Gran Turismo 7 trailer, I felt it was too slow, too much in the small details than racing. The visuals did look fantastic, but I just couldn't get into the racing portion of the trailer. Where's the excitement I'm looking for? With that said, most of the trailers were just ho-hum, but at least they were upcoming games. Most we already knew about with gameplay now or different new trailer. I wasn't too excited here, so here's my best of the list so far. Besides the teasers, I felt that Uncharted Legacy of Thieves release was very interesting in the fact that I own both games and hoping for a free PS5 upgrade. If not, the $10 upgrade fee isn't that bad, but free is always better. These games will be remasters, so the visuals will get a bump in resolution with frame rate, and but not much else. Looking forward to test this one out, especially on Lost Legacy, as I have yet to play that game. God of War Ragnarok was definitely something I was very interested in, as the prequel is one of my favorite games that was put together so perfectly that it would appease almost anyone. With the sequel, it looks like they're doubling down with the story of Loki and what looks to be Zeus. I'm not sure, but it does look like Zeus, so we'll see when it comes out. The downside is that the visuals are fantastic, but doesn't look any different from the PS4 original, and hopefully it isn't just a performance upgrade here. I want higher fidelity visuals, resolution, and performance with the power of the PS5 that it can spare. But we will see what happens with a year of cross-gen gaming. Project Eve almost got to the top spot here as I do love action adventure games with more emphasis on action. Here it is extremely fun to see and is very stylized. I didn't see too many enemies in this one and hoping so hard that it's not a Souls type game but overall wow. The Japanese market has been in flux in their identity as of late letting the rest of the world dominate gaming but this game looks really nice and hopefully is as fun to play as it is to watch. Forspoken by Square Enix is my most interesting game I'm looking forward to in playing. This game looks to be an action RPG that really pushes the boundaries of open world with magic and traveling faster almost like and how Spider-Man flies around the city with his web swing. Although traveling isn't all that's there, it's a lot of action and gameplay that really pushes what I expected a next gen title to look like. The story looks grounded as well as the movement and animations look smooth to pull play and pull off attacks. A game I'm really looking into that will hopefully fulfill that action adventure and role playing bug I've been having since Mass Effect. Well those were the games that opened my eyes. Not to say that I won't check out Tiny Tina's Wonderland 
from the Borderlands series or that Aliens is actually in a Tom Clancy game is really out there. But these are other games that scream look at me more with their originality and just something new and fresh. That's it for me on this look at Sony's September 2021 gaming showplace. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Oh. Yeah. Ah. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm having a heart attack. Cease this at once. Ah. Fine. Damn.